Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. We are replacing some of the damaged plumbing on the ship and uh, decided it was a teachable moment. So today's lesson, ships do not rot from the outside in. They rot from the inside out. So this is one of the drain pipes that's uh, on the O1 level exterior for water running through the scuppers in the superstructure to drain down through the overboard discharge. The Iowa-class battleships and a number of other Navy ships have drain systems like this so that the water isn't running down the sides of the ship and staining or fading the paint. Uh, this is another one of those gold plater features that many war-built ships like Fletcher-class destroyers and others just do not have. Um, but Iowa-class battleships always did. Now, this plumbing, despite where it came from and what it does, is no different than any of the other plumbing throughout the inside of the ship. While the ship might be made out of armored steel, special treatment in most places, in some places actual armor, in a few places mild or high tensile steel, the plumbing is not. And this is what is going to rust out first. So let me show you why we uh, ended up cropping out this whole section. So we are uh, redecking the port side of the ship, main deck. And as part of that project, it behooves us to not have water hitting that workspace while we're still working on it. Uh, so the first step is to fix all the drains and paint uh, the vertical surfaces in that area prior to doing the deck work below it. So this uh, section of pipe is one of the ones that we decided, yeah, that's, uh, that's in pretty rough shape. We got to get rid of it. You look at this and you can see the outside is painted. That's not where um, this rusted off. You see the, there isn't any paint around this area. We, we hit that with a cup brush because there were some like pinhole leaks, so we, so we just hit it real fast to see how bad it was, and all of a sudden all of these holes opened up. Now, interestingly, we've got weld bead there, we got weld bead here. This section was probably an issue in the 1980s, which is why it got cropped out and renewed. Uh, and I'm guessing that this section, because it's not a low spot or anything weird like that, I'm guessing that this section uh, they cropped back in a slightly thinner piece of pipe than the two ends that are still there, which is uh, why it again wasted out faster. Issues like these are insidious. We are not worried about the water outside the ship the ship was designed to sit in. That stays on the outside, that is fine. It's the rainwater coming from above or the plumbing water that we're piping into the ship that leaks out in those pipes and then sits inside the ship. Remember, there's 1,600 rooms on the ship. We do quarterly uh, and annual inspections to get into them all, but in that period of time, water could have leaked out of a pipe like this into a room and caused significant damage in the three months between us looking at it. So that is what puts holes in the ships, and it eats it from the inside out not from the outside in. Notice, just to illustrate that point one more time, the outside is covered in primer and at least two coats of top coat and is uh, relatively intact with the exception of areas that we've uh, cleaned off ourselves, the coatings on the outside are intact. However, look at the inside of that pipe. There's no paint in there. You can't paint the inside of a pipe. It's, it's just mild steel. In many cases, the pipes will end up being made out of dissimilar metals as they cobble together patches over the years. So you might get copper and brass and uh, mild steel and uh, galvanized steel all welded or threaded together in sections, and then those just rot out even faster. So you can see that there's uh, a tremendous amount of rust building up on the inside 
that it's not like red flash rust that you see. It is the built up pack rust, or as I like to call it, rust bloom building out as this steel tries to return to its natural iron oxide state. And there, there's nothing you can do to fix that. You can't get inside that pipe and needle gun that and paint it. Just once it starts to leak, you got to cut it out and replace it. Now, uh, the museum saves all of this stuff that we have to remove from the ship. It is part of our artifact. So we're not throwing it away or scrapping it or selling it in any other way. Uh, so I've got a room of things that we've cut off of the ship. In some instances, it's, it's deck features that are tripping hazards for people. In most instances, it's plumbing that uh, has rotted out like this guy. Next to rainwater, what do you think the biggest threat to an Iowa-class battleship is? Because it certainly wasn't Japanese or German battleships. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. If you'd like to continue supporting the museum so we can continue to fix leaks like this one, there's a link in the description below for donations, and we really appreciate your support. You can also support us by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about our channel and the museum. Thanks for watching.